welcome to the Super Size Phys Ed Podcast. My name is Dave, and I want to talk about getting in shape, getting in PE shape, and why that's important as a physical educator. So here we go. All right, so we had a debate on Voxer, I'd say about five years ago, and I remember pretty vividly, I'm not going to use names, but the the debate was, do you have to be in shape, like physically in shape to teach PE? Now, I was always on the side of yes, and a lot of people were like no, and there were various reasons, and I understand. Um, I understand some uh, women maybe just had a a child, Um, some people have just had their own weight loss journey. you know, I, I don't think you have to be um, in shape as far as you don't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, shape means lots of different things. It doesn't mean you have to look, um, you know, again, like muscles bulging everywhere and you're ready to run a marathon or you're ready to win a weightlifting contest. It doesn't mean that necessarily. However, here's some things I want you to ask yourself. Can you do the exercises that you are requiring your students to do? Can you do the push-ups? Can you do a plank hold? Can you do squats? Can you do, um, we don't do a lot of crunches because we have cement, but can you do the things you ask them to do? And I'll be honest with you, there's uh, one or two that I've had some knee problems. I've had foot problems. Um, There's one where I jump side to side. They're called like skaters or skater plyos. And it really hurts my knee and I can't do that. Or I can do that uh, maybe a couple times and then I have to stop. And so there are some things that physically you might not be able to do. And that's just from getting older and, and whatever. But, you know, can you do the exercise? That's the first thing. The second thing is, can you run with the kids? Can you actually run with them and not just sit in the lawn chair or as um, <laughs> I know Mike Giannicola says this, let's just getting a... Um, what do you call it? when you have lots of kids, you just, you know, get a lifeguard chair, put the zinc oxide on and just sit there. Um, you know, I want to be with the kids. I want to be running with them. I, I used to do pacers with them. I used to run laps with them. I still do and did to somewhat, but it's, again, it's getting harder as I've had foot surgery, things like that. So I limit what I do, but I still want to be out there and do the games with them. I play hockey with them. I play uh, crossover type games with them. I play uh, lots of games with them. But I'm also a teacher. I'm not there for, you know, my uh, high school or, P- or uh, college glory days. You know, I, my, my goal is to teach and um, give them great experiences and make them lifelong learners. So number three is, do you demonstrate solid nutritional skills? And I'll admit, I don't always do that. I drink, my you know, my main thing I drink is Monster or some kind of energy drink. It's not a good thing. And that's my one vice I have. Um, you know, I don't always eat perfect. Definitely not. But I also don't let them see that. And I'm not saying you should trick your students. Be honest with them. And I I am honest with them. Um, But I definitely say drink water in front of them. Basically, just water. And um, that's up to you. But lots of water. You know, don't be bringing a bag of chips and a soda in front of them and just start chowing down. You know, that's not demonstrating good, solid nutritional skills. So what I decided was this summer, I need to get back into PE shape. And I was thinking about what, what does that mean, PE shape? I've said that before um, to myself. I've said that on the podcast. I've said that um, just to my wife. Like, I need to get back in PE shape. And, you know, it's, it's like anything. You can't, and, and I'm thinking of my, my children, I can't let them stay up till 11, 12 o'clock every single night, the whole summer. And then day one, they have to get up at six in the morning and think that's going to work. You know, it has to be a process where you... You know, you're working towards a goal. You you know the day you have to go back to school and you need to work on, you know, getting back into PE shape. So here's what I'm doing. Um, first of all, I'm upping my cardio. I usually walk to the gym and do a lot of weights or a decent amount of weights and then walk home. Well, I'm adding more cardio to that. I'm adding, and although again, I've had a lot of foot problems, knee problems. Um, I do like elliptical uh, machine. I've actually started running again a little bit, but it's again, it's a little bit. It's like I'll run for 30 seconds, then I'll walk, then I'll run for another 30 seconds, then I'll walk, then I'll jog a little bit. It's a process. I, I can't run like I ran uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago, but I need to get back into that PE shape. Um, I ride my bike quite a bit. 
you know, things like that. Every morning I'm doing this or just about every morning I'm doing this. I'm stretching. I'm trying to sleep more um, because I, I need to, you know, it's good for you. I just listened to a masterclass um, on a, on sleeping and it's just so important be, between the uh, not getting sick and just in general, like just your whole immune system, it's it's everything. It's it, sleep is is so you know great for your your brain. It's it just incredible, and that's a whole other podcast. But you know, part of being in Florida is being in the sun. And I have been out of teaching PE since last Thanksgiving. And you know, I'm not saying I'm going to just go spend all my days in the sun. Uh, definitely don't want to do that. But I need to be used to being in the sun for long periods of time, and it takes a while. And I know not everybody's in that situation, but that's part of my getting into PE shape. Okay, so think about what you need to do. I know it's a short episode to get into PE shape. Again, you don't have to look like um, a, a fitness model, a guy or girl. You don't have to look like um, you know, again, Schwarzenegger or anything like that. But you do need to get into PE shape to be ready for the new school year. And your kids deserve that. If you're sitting in a chair barking orders at them, that's not fair to them. You need to be out there doing it as best you can. Now, if you can't, and there's other reasons and, and everybody's got different circumstances, I understand. But think about what you can do and do it for your students. They need it. They deserve it. And it's what you need to do as a PE teacher, not just sit there. Anyways, now it's time for your cowbell tip of the day. Oh, I missed the cowbell. Yes, the cowbell. So cowbell tip of the day is this summer, relax. Yes, definitely relax. I'm going on two vacations, two different places, and I'm excited about them. But you got to get in the reps too. relax, but get in the reps. If that means getting up in the morning a little earlier, I do it. Honestly, the kids are still sleeping. I go to the gym, kids are sleeping. I come back. They might be awake. They might not be awake, but I'm done. I got it done for the day and nothing and no one can take that away from me. I got my workout in. I'm good. Now, if you can't do that in the evening, I used to do that when I did the 75 hard. That's a whole nother, again, podcast program I've talked about. I used to do two a day. I used to do one in the morning, one in the evening, even when I was teaching. I would ride my bike in the morning or evening, usually in the evening, the morning, well, either one actually, and then uh, get a workout in at, at home or at the gym. Find time. You have time during the, the, during the summer. You have an hour or less. You have half an hour somewhere in the day to, to exercise. Okay, so relax, but get the reps in. It's what is needed for the school year, for every school year, and for your students. And that is your cowbell tip of the day. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. To find out more about anything going on in our PE world, go to supersizephysad.com for more information. And please leave a review if you like this at all. If it made you laugh or think or ponder, um, click on the link in the episode notes and give me, give us a four to five star review, hopefully, that we can um, get more people involved and change our PE nation for the better. So keep pushing our profession forward and we will talk soon. Have a great day.